But joining us in studio to speak to the matter is a former health minister, uh, Alex Sebefia, who worked under the tenure um, of uh, uh, John Mahama when the disaster occurred. Thank you very much sir, for your time and good to have you in studio. So what did investigations at the time establish? Well, the investigations uh, clearly were done by the security agencies and the uh, security agencies uh, came up with a report uh, mentioning a number of names who uh, were felt to be complicit directly or indirectly in what had occurred in terms of motive and actions. Um, the main witness who is believed or s main suspect who is believed to have been responsible for the fire um, was at large at the time and, we s and is still at large as I understand it. Um, the report was sent to the Attorney General. Attorney General looked at it and felt that there wasn't sufficient at the time. It was sent back to the security agencies and then subsequently we lost uh, power. The new uh, government of, of President Akufuado came into being and uh, a lot of uh, uh, political mischief was played prior to the election on this matter. Um, about two years down the line, we are more or less in the same place. Is it a surprise uh, to you that no one has been able to uh, be prosecuted as a result of the investigations that were conducted under your tenure? I'm disappointed and I'm a bit uh, uh, concerned, but uh, being a lawyer myself, I can understand the difficulty sometimes with these types of prosecutions. Even though I'm not totally convinced by some of the uh, um, ex explanations put forward. Uh, the Central Medical Store site was not tampered with by any government official or any, uh, or should I say, any uh, political person mm. uh, for quite a while. It mm. was, if anything at all, the people who went in there in the initial stages were all uh, under the security and mm. also the fire service. They got involved in the site and they are the ones who uh, gathered evidence. It was close to a year, or over a year before, we sought permission in writing from the national the national security as to whether we could now allow a contractor on site because by we had already promised the people of Ghana that we would try and restore the central medical stores uh, back to uh, its former glory within a year and we had it got into the year or surpassed it and we hadn't even even been able to get to site mm. so we sought their permission and the permission was granted mm. so in terms of forensic evidence being destroyed it had nothing to do with the government of the day the security agencies at the time gave us permission to go on to so, so you work on that it was going to be difficult to prosecute this matter it was difficult but having mm. said that mm. i think some of the explanation given are red herrings the problem we i envisaged at the time was that dogbe who is the main suspect was at large was at large mm. and his evidence or what he would say was going to be crucial to a lot of things mm. without him there was always going to be difficulties mm. and we were hoping that interpol would have been contacted and uh, 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 a tag put on his name um, so that he could be uh, uh, arrested if he was out of town, or more efforts would be made to locate him. But you had instigated that process under your regime when this we happened? Ha as far as I understand mm -hmm. it, we had informed the security agencies to do so. Mm -hmm. All right, quickly. Had, uh, as to whether it had been done or not. Right, quickly before know. we wrap up. So there's an article which seeks to suggest that you sanctioned the discussion mm -hmm. that made the country cough out some uh, $12.6 million for a service that Ghana could have gotten for free from the Americans. And if you indulge me, I'm talking about the zipline drone issue. How do you react to these allegations? I think that the story is gone, is, is wrong. Mm. Uh, I was the one who uh, instigated conversations with a group that were going to give us the drones for free okay and when the new government came into place they right. uh, put it out a contract with for 12.6 million and you had difficulties with and that. I had difficulties with them doing that mm. and the contract or the arrangements we had uh, under my tenure was for uh, some medical centers for uh, to be built in at least 10 different areas uh, helicopters to come in um, as well as drones um, and some ambulances for each of the sectors. Mm. Um, I believe one or two per the medical centers that were going to be put in place. Mm. And all this was going to be done for free as part of a package from the uh, one of the uh, uh, armed, uh, should I say armed or should I say, the security forces from the United States. Mm. For we got very far in the negotiations, but because there were drones, we decided that we need a clearance from national security because one of the primary purposes of drones is also for, for surveillance and other 
military aspects. Mm. And therefore, to allow drones to come into the country, we decided we will send the agreement to the national security to look at it, mm. for them to be satisfied that we could actually go into this negotiation. Uh, nothing to do with the financing now because there was no money involved. Mm. And we were just going to uh, acquire. But we wanted to be sure that we didn't fall foul. Mm. And so we sent it off to national security. And before uh, we could get a f an answer from them, we again lost power. You had lost power. So exactly. So, so for you, there's absolutely, absolutely no justification for this absolutely current none for uh, this deal that's just been at entered At the price into. at which it is put mm. forward. And you, you find it ridiculous. W exactly. Mm. Thank you very much, Alex. So if you uh, is a former health minister, uh, you know, under the as well, John Mahama administration. Thank you very much, sir, for your time. Good to have you uh, to help us to understand some few matters.